everybody. So I've just come on and tell you about some new brushes that I'm getting in. Um, they're pretty new to the UK. Uh, they're not quite here yet. They'll be here in um, a week or two, I think. Anyway, they are called zebra brushes. Oh, it's back to fun, isn't it? That's not much use. <laughs> anyway, so zebra brushes, they're quite interesting. They are made from a synthetic bristle, which I know people always think, well, I always used to think in the old days that the best brushes were made from bristle. But bristle um, is good because it they're hollow and they can hold a lot of paint, but it creates a lot of texture. So we really have come around to the understanding that synthetic brushes are definitely the way to go. So zebra brushes, they're different. The um, filaments are really, really, really fine and they are packed in, you know, very densely. So what this means is that you have a very, very soft brush. Hello, Shelley. You have a very, very soft brush at the end, but it's still quite stiff so it holds its shape and you can control it. So this particular one, and they have some really, really interesting shapes. They literally think about what you're gonna be painting and make um, brushes in different shapes and sizes to suit what you're painting. So this is called the Palm Pro two inch, and this is for kind of cutting in. So maybe, um, you know, I can't really do it like this, hang on. Oh, this is not you kind of wanna get in you know, you want to come across or come down really nice and flat, holds its shape, but the ends are really, really soft, really quite incredible. And they're not going to be um, a hugely expensive brush. So we have our style meesters and our Klingons and all the great brushes that we love. Um, hello, Sarah Pelly. Sarah Pelly is actually going to be the distributor of these. So if you're a shop and you want to um, stock these, then you have to get onto Sarah Pelly at um, Home Revival. She'll probably tell you all the things that I've said wrong today. So yeah, they're really interesting and they've got loads and loads of different shapes. So this is for cutting in. Um, and this one is, I want, I want to keep this one. This is called a fan. <laughs> Never seen one this shape before, have you? Again, oh gosh, they're so soft, I can't get over it. This is apparently for mouldings and routed edges. So we'll have to try that and see whether that works. Um, test these things out. So the difference, a uh, well, few more things about them. They are, shaped to be ergonomic so i don't know if you're like me i'm getting really um sore thumbs lately like the base of my thumbs i think it might just be getting old or it could just be from painting too much furniture so these have all been shaped for your hands they're at, you know they're very ergonomic is the word um they've also got a stainless steel what's this bit called is this the ferrule this is stainless steel so they're really really easy to clean and this won't rust and they're bedded in with epoxy, a good bed of epoxy, so that way you won't be losing any bristles. And they're very good for cleaning up. They clean very easily, and obviously you need to always reshape your brushes. Um, once you've washed them, reshape them and leave them to dry. You can, I've just been reading up on them, you can put them back in the packet it comes with, and that will keep it in shape. I'm not sure about that, because the packets are cardboard, but you could do that. And this one especially, look, you know, you want to keep that. That is something that you really are going to want to keep um, the shape of. So, yeah. Anyway, what I want to know is I've got these two. And what one would you like to try? I'm thinking uh, whoever. So this is called the fan and this is called the palm pro. Whoever, however many votes I get. So say I get loads and loads of votes with people wanting to um, try the fan. That's the brush that I will give away. If I get more votes with the Palm Pro, that's the brush I'll give away. And I'll randomly pick someone. Uh, we'll just put your names in a hat. I'm not doing one of those online blah de blah de blah things because um, it just seems like time and effort, doesn't it? So you're just gonna have to trust me. I'm gonna put your names in a hat and they'll all say Kate on them, Kate, Kate, Kate. Because I want one. <laughs> I really want to try these. They look great, don't they? So, yeah, they're going to be here with us soon. And um, they're a really, you know, top quality brush. At not a crazy, crazy... Uh, yeah, the Palm Pro. Yeah, I think that could be good, don't you, Shelley? Um, well, I have to find out from Sarah what the other uh, shapes are. There are absolutely loads of them. And people always... 
um, when people come to classes, they get you know kind of a bit uptight about um, what brush, what's the best brush, what's the best brush. Well, there is no one shape that is the best. When I um, uh, paint, I might have two or three brushes on the go and a roller and a laying off brush. And as I'm painting a piece, I might swap from one brush to the other, depending on you know if I'm painting trim, if I'm painting a flat edge. You know, you can't, one brush is not going to do it all. So the fact that they've thought about the shapes that we need um, to do specific jobs, I think is brilliant. Yeah, it does look good. Oh, look, they're all after the Palm Pro. <laughs> Sarah, send me some more. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, you like the short angle. Yeah, I, some of the brushes that I've got really, really long, you know, um, handles on them, I feel like cutting them, some of them. I mean, I know the cling on, the shorties are really, really popular for the same reason. Yeah, I think this is going to be good. It feels really comfortable in my hand, I must admit. So I didn't want to like paint with it. But what I am amazed at is literally how soft the filaments are. And because they're so fine and they've packed them in, yeah, it's amazing. But at the same time, you've got that. You've, I feel like you're going to get some control there. They're not going to flop about the place. Even this one, this fan, is really, really stiff. Yeah, but the end, oh, can you see? So fine, beautiful. Anyway, yeah, so that's it. Just a quick one, just to tell you that these are soon gonna be in stock and um, I'm gonna give one, or might even give both of the brushes away if I'm feeling kind and generous. And um, then you can try them and then you can let me know what you think. So anyway, that was it. I'm going to come back tomorrow and do a quick live on the Craig and Rose Crackles because I've got, hello Shona, I've got all the new colours in. Um, I just want to do a quick demo because people always get very confused about the crackles. So, And also, can you spot what's over there in the corner? I have about eight pops of Curiously Pink just come in a couple of hours ago. And after that, they're going to be gone and I don't know if we're going to be getting them back. So, if you're after Curiously Pink, that, that's what you need to do. So let me know which one you like best, the Palm Pro or the fan and um we will i'll get someone will get one of those yeah see someone else is saying palm pro as well i think it's a i think it's a, a no-brainer that means i get to keep the fan then <laughs> anyway hopefully i'll see you tomorrow if i don't get too sort of bogged down with wrapping up pieces of furniture that have been collected at the weekend and show you all the colors of the crackles and um just give you a quick demo just to remind you what, what's happening with them and how to work them Anyway, okay, cool. So that's it. Short and sweet. See you soon. Bye.